My name's Kirk Wilcox, I'm the Communications Director for Surf Aid International and we work in the island chain off uh, West Sumatra on the far western end of Indonesia. Surf Aid International was formed in 2000 after a New Zealand doctor went on a surfing trip to the Mentawai Islands, 150 kilometres off Sumatra and he went into a village and saw that there were extreme health problems and he ran a clinic for 200 people that day after a chief found out he was a doctor. Our work is focused on community development, so it's all about empowering the local people how to look after themselves. So we do health education, hopefully leading to behaviour change. So a lot of the people in these islands have a very high death rate. One in ten children don't make it to the age of five through preventable diseases. So we teach them simple things like hand washing, run a big malaria program, better nutrition, and we also work in emergency preparedness and relief because we're in one of the most volatile earthquake tsunami zones in the world. I'm a journalist by profession. I did my cadetship at News Limited in Sydney for five years. And from there, I became editor of uh, Tracks Surfing Magazine. And I've worked as a freelance writer since then and as a freelance journalist. And then I was employed by one of the major surfing companies, Quicksilver as International Media and Marketing Manager. So I've been involved uh, in the surfing industry as a journalist most of my working life. I first went to Indonesia, went to Bali, which a lot of people do today, but when I went there it was the late 1970s, I was 22 years old, and it was such a strange foreign culture, so close to Australia, I was really struck by that. To me it was a, an extremely foreign place, but what also struck me were the, the people. Uh, by and large they seemed quite happy even though they, they didn't have very much, they lived a quite simple life. And some of the people spoke English and so I'd made some good, good friends there, but it, it had a profound influence as my life has turned out. Surfers going to Bali all through the time all, all learn a few basic words, even just to say thank you or to, to ask for something or you've got to get transport somewhere. So then you see the frustration of not, not knowing a language in a place that you like to go to and so you keep learning more and more. We're in the bottom of the world and that's the zone and the region that we live in. And just being able to communicate on any level, business levels, whatever career it is, you're in, if you have that if you have that language skill for one, just the language is such an advantage. 